Hi guys, Happy New Year. I hope you guys have had a great end to 2022. This is my final video literally coming up on New Year's Eve. So hopefully someone is at home able to watch this tonight. Um, but I also hope you guys have fun plans and have a positive mindset and just start ending the year on a good note. Today's video is going to be a topic I probably haven't really discussed much. It's a type of affirmation and that's ask formations. I'm going to give you some examples, explain my perspective on it, why I think it works well and why you should test it out. So something slightly different, but maybe you can even try implementing it. Today, tonight, for me in the UK, it's coming up, the video is going to go up this evening. So you can spend a little bit of time this evening if you're at home testing out these affirmations. If you do enjoy my content, you'd like me to keep making these videos, please do thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It would mean a lot to me. And if you would like to get one on one coaching with me, I do offer that. All the information of everything I have is a little bit of it is on screen right now. These are my newest offers and I've made these really pretty little graphics, so I want to include them. And then also if you click the Instagram link for LOA coaching in the description box below, that will take you to my coaching Instagram. All the information is there for you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into ask formations. So first getting into how the ask, ask formation, ask formation, that's not my accent, how the ask formation works. And essentially it's going to create the question in your subconscious mind, which needs to create an answer. So your subconscious mind will try and respond by finding the answer and, you know, f finding the resolution for you. It's like problem solving. It's how your mind will automatically work regardless. If someone asks you a question, your mind immediately goes to, gets to work to try and find the solution and the answer to that, right? It's the same thing with an ask formation. When you turn your affirmation into a question, you know, why blah, blah, blah. It's do, your mind is going to do the same thing. So by searching for those answers, your mind is literally going to try and validate your manifestation. So why does SP love me? And your mind's going to find answers or examples or just try and think of anything positive, whether it's a memory or just bring up some form of logic. You know, even if it relates to your self-concept, your subconscious mind, and you might not realize at first what's going on, but it is going to try and answer the question. So this could be a good option if you really struggle and spiral a lot. If you find yourself struggling to accept your affirmations and you don't enjoy saying them, you're finding a lot of resistance at the moment. An ask formation could be really good because you're almost tricking your mind and what's the word? Yeah, essentially just tricking your mind into you know, thinking that it's already something that's happened. Another example of how your mind will treat that ask formation is it could bring up visuals. I've had this for myself. You don't have to get clear visuals in your conscious mind, but oftentimes you will. So when you're asking, why did this happen? Why does this person feel this for me? Whatever your manifestation is, you're gonna bring up a visual because you're saying, this person does this thing in my life or I have this thing in my life but why is it? So you're gonna get the visual of you having that thing, right? So it's more likely that you will be able to create a good visual and it'll just pop up in your mind. And that is essentially visualizing your desired reality, visualizing the new reality that you want. So it's not perfect. I'm not saying, you know, if you do ask formations, you'll get your manifestation overnight. It's doing the same thing as normal affirmations, but it's a good practice if you really spiral and it could work out really well for you where you do get these visuals and your mind you know, immediately brings up answers. Well, you know, last week he did text me this or the other day, you know, I got this perfect email that gave me what I want as part of another manifestation, blah, blah, like your mind will come up with so many different ideas and concepts and, you know, potential answers. And whether it does it consciously or subconsciously, it's still going to have a positive effect and you will probably have less resistance to asking a question and, you know, telling your mind, you're even bypassing, you know, having to tell your mind, I have this, you're saying, yeah, I have it, but I'm going to ask you now why, if that makes sense. A couple examples of ask formations that are very common and easy for you guys to implement. Like I said at the beginning, you can flip your affirmation into the opposite and literally just add in the phrase, why? And I'll go into that a little bit more in the next point. But one example is, isn't it wonderful? That's literally a form, a 
full affirmation on its own, but it's in the ask formation form. So you're not even specifying what it is, but you're stating that there's something really wonderful happening for you right now. And isn't it wonderful? And your subconscious mind will connect all the dots together for you and bring about something completely unexpected, whether it's connected to your manifestation or something like, you know, you find out that your bills were paid for the month or you find a 20 pound note on the ground or, your favorite the dress you were wanted to buy on asos or whatever this is a bit random this is more for my example but the dress you wanted from asos is now 50 percent off it could be anything it could be that your sp posted on the instagram story something that you wanted them to post anything but it's a really good form of ask formation and you can connect it with your affirmation so isn't it wonderful that sp loves me isn't it wonderful that I now have my dream job? So you're turning your own affirmation into an ask formation, but you're combining it with isn't it wonderful? So you can do it either way, but that is one really great example in my opinion. So as I just mentioned, one way that you can just flip your own affirmation into it and do it as, you, as you're looping. So let's say you've, you know, set aside 30 minutes and you just want to really get your affirmations done you want to get back into a positive mindset and it's your time in the evening to affirm and you've set aside this time and you're saying sp loves me sp loves me sp loves me so much sp loves me then you can add in sp loves me why does sp love me how does sp love me so much how did i get sp to love me so much anything like that so why does blah 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 and how does blah 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 so add in those two phrases into at the beginning of your affirmations and as you're looping them this will help you become less monotonous and robotic because you're changing around the structure you're literally almost changing the concept because you're not just saying i have this you're saying I want to know why I have this. I want to know how this came about. So it's kind of having like, a, not really placebo, but it's like psychologically tricking your own mind into you know thinking that, okay, we already have this thing and now we need to figure out why it happened. So you're really just speaking to yourself as if you already have it, which again, kind of drills in the point that it's yours, it's already yours. And the only thing that you have to figure out now and convince your mind of now is to figure out the reasons behind it, right? Ask formations do engage your mind in a new way, in a way that maybe you wouldn't have used with regular affirmations, especially if you find that you are just saying the exact same words over and over and over. And if it's something really short and simple like SP loves me, which would be their name and combined, it's all just three words. If you're saying that, you know, for a period of time and you should be doing a minimum of five minutes of looping your affirmation, I feel like that's the only way you're really gonna get the repetition to be super effective. You can say it a couple times here and there, but honestly, the more you repeat it in one go, the more likely you are to get visuals and for it to really ingrain in your mind faster. You find that you're doing that, you have a really short, simple affirmation that doesn't take long to repeat. It's very straightforward to the point. You might wanna switch up the wording. So you can do anything like right now, today, immediately, which I've discussed in previous videos, but also, isn't it wonderful? How did I, how did they, why do I have this? Why do, why do they do that? Why do they feel this way? Whatever the case may be, f flip the wording around, change it up, and you might find that it's easier and more enjoyable because you're engaging your mind in a new way. So you might just enjoy doing the affirmations in that way overall. So yeah, these are different. I gave you guys a few examples, like those are all just different ways that you can word your affirmations. It all means the same thing. You are still manifesting your exact result, but you're wording it in a new way, which A, is just more fun and easy for your mind to engage with, but also it's slightly different um, in terms of how it affects your thought process because you're trying to find reasons, examples, visuals, and memories that connect to why you have this manifestation, why you're with your SP, why you have your dream job, you know, why everyone treats you like a queen, a king, whatever it is that you're affirming for, you can use it for any topic. So yeah, hopefully that was useful for you guys, something new to consider. I've touched on ask formations a little, uh, why do I pronounce like that? Ask formations um, in the past in a few videos, but I wanted to dedicate one whole video to this topic to give you guys a really good overview. So please do thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the new year.